I transform and how do I transform faster? And this is why you see the tremendous amount of energy and spending on application modernization and on moving to the cloud. These are in fact two sides of the same coin and both are driven by digital transformation. But it's one thing to do a digital transformation of a single business process or for a line of business. It's quite another to go do enterprise-wide digital transformation. Because all of a sudden now, you got applications that are being deployed on multiple clouds. You still got applications in the data center and being modernized there as well. And you got applications being deployed at the edge. In fact, our customers talk about a two plus one or a two plus two strategy. Two public clouds, their data center turned into a private cloud and the edge operating as a cloud. It is this distributed picture that's becoming the norm for most of our customers. And this leads to a lot more complexity and a lot more diversity. All of a sudden you've got all of these silos and each of these silos has its own way of management and security. In fact, it is this complexity that's slowing down enterprise transformation. It's affecting the pace at which we can modernize applications. It's affecting the speed at which we can move applications to the cloud. It is creating all these silos of management and security. It's creating complexities in the edge. And to top it all, the developer skills needed to deal with all this complexity is very scarce. This is the challenge that we see a lot of CIOs facing today. Our vision for the multi-cloud is aimed precisely at solving the CIO challenge. Our solution is to deliver an ubiquitous software infrastructure across all clouds, in the data center, and in the edge, allowing developers to modernize the application in the cloud of their choice using the cloud native services of that particular cloud at the same time allowing IT to take existing applications and move them to the cloud of their choice tying it all together with a common set of management and security tools. VMware Cloud is essential in unlocking three key areas of transformation. Application transformation DevSecOps transformation, and of course, cloud infrastructure transformation. To dive deeper into the first two, let's welcome Craig McClocky, VP of R&D at VMware and founder of the Kubernetes project. Craig, VMware is known as an infrastructure company. What is our role in app transformation? When we talk about digital transformation, it historically has been a bit of a, a buzzword for a lot of organizations. But with recent events in society, it's becoming an absolute imperative. It's never been more important for enterprise organizations to be able to lean on the strength of the development teams to solve real world business problems. And it's not just for us about the commercial products that we offer. It's about the work that we're doing in the open source communities to make the lives of developers better, to offer up some really interesting and innovative capabilities that enable them to solve real world business problems and accelerate our customers' paths into the digital future. This is really different than how people think about VMware. What kind of things are we doing about it? As with many things, it really starts with just getting started. There's so many interesting and compelling technologies that are being built out there. Linux application containers, Kubernetes, a whole wave of innovation that's happening on that ecosystem. And our job is to just make that accessible to developers who may be unfamiliar with it starting with things like well-curated Linux application containers, getting started templates that meet the exacting standards of enterprises and to just help people get going. And it's also about just making it easier in terms of getting those applications once they've been developed into the production environment, removing a lot of the drudge work associated with setting up a staging environment or setting up that production environment and really thinking through that end-to-end -end flow. We're moving from a world where the tools and capabilities that developers need are no longer served at the other end of a ticket request, but can actually be accessed directly through APIs, which is ultimately the language that developers speak. Now, it's also important not to look 
at application modernization and a lot of these progressive trends as a take it or leave it thing. There's an entire spectrum of capabilities and enterprises are dealing with an incredibly rich and complex portfolio of technologies. And so being able to work with an organization and not say legacy application, I prefer to say heritage application because this is what is running the business and start to assess that portfolio of technologies and identify what's the return on investment associated with engaging with and embracing a new capability, whether that's an approach from a development perspective or increasingly how you factor or architect the application. And that's where Tanz is here to help, not just in terms of delivering a set of capabilities that are naturally integrated and accessible in any public cloud environment uh, or in the, the on-premises environments, but also increasingly looking at delivering out the skills that organizations need to make best use of those capabilities. So through things like our application navigator program, which really combines both the technologies that Tanz is offering, but also a rich set of skills from seasoned practitioners that have been on this journey for a while that can work to up-level an organization's capabilities we're really bringing it all together with Tanzu. Okay, so that's how we help developers be more productive. Now let's talk about DevSecOps transformation. When you think about what it actually takes to modernize your approach to delivering software, there's a lot of moving parts. It starts with the ability to effectively go from code to a built production container that's really optimized and uh, set up appropriately to meet the enterprise's requirements. It involves setting up the continuous integration systems that will then deliver that into a production repository that can be secured and scanned. It's about thinking through what continuous delivery looks like. How do you actually set this up so that your operations team can deliver that into a, a production destination? And it's also about putting the, the, the second DevSecOps. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the security side of the house. As you start looking at that flow, you want to be able to introduce policy as control points at every stage of the game and to set everything up using production identities that meet your unique uh, security requirements as an enterprise organization. You also have to think through things like connectivity. When we talk about modern applications, these applications can actually be quite complex. Microservices introduce a lot of different moving parts. So having technologies like an enterprise grade service mesh and working with an organization that has really deep networking capabilities is an imperative. And then finally, it's not just about getting the application there. It's about thinking about the care and feeding of that application. And observability really comes to the forefront from that perspective. Being able to understand and track the metrics of the application and then really look at things like application um, performance management and optimization for the application. And so with Tanzu, we've, we've really brought that all together with an end-to-end -to -end suite. And what we aspire to here is, is to deliver a secure enterprise software supply chain that goes from the developer's IDE, the place where they do their work, all the way out into the production environment. Thank you, Craig. Now to talk about the cloud infrastructure transformation using VMware Cloud Foundation, let me hand it over to Kit Colbert, CTO of cloud for VMware. Thanks, Raghu. Infrastructure modernization is key to any digital business strategy. It's essential in supporting developers, building modern applications, and taking forward existing applications. It's also critical to operators who are looking to automate and adopt modern cloud operational models. Now, when we talk about modernizing infrastructure, what we're really talking about is the shift from a traditional virtualized data center to a modern cloud infrastructure, whether that's in the public cloud, in the data center, or at the edge. Again, it's about the cloud as a model rather than cloud as a place. Because the reality is that the traditional data center model wasn't supporting developers. They don't want to have to file a ticket to get access to resources. They don't want to have to wait for anybody. They want to be able to call an API. They want to be able to get self-service access to that resource immediately and go about doing their jobs building these applications. They want the infrastructure to be able to scale to meet the needs of their applications. And this is why businesses want to go to cloud. The problem, though, is that shift is often disruptive because of the fundamental change of infrastructure between their on-prem data center and cloud. That infrastructure change means the application has to be changed. It's got to be refactored or rewritten. It means the operational tooling has to be changed. This adds to cost and risk of that migration. In the end, it makes it harder. But it doesn't have to be that way. And this is how VMware Cloud is different. We're focused on consistent infrastructure everywhere on evolving 
that underlying infrastructure that powers 85 million applications across the world today, and extend that infrastructure to AWS, to Azure, to Google Cloud, to thousands of other cloud provider partners. We've made it incredibly easy to migrate applications to the cloud. There is no refactoring or rewriting of the application. There is no changing of the operational tooling. It's fully automated. In fact, it can be done at the click of a button. And once you're in the cloud, it's even easier to modernize your applications. Again, you're leveraging a modern cloud infrastructure, and you have direct access to powerful native public cloud services. And VMware Cloud does all this with enterprise reliability, intrinsic security, and unified operations for any cloud. VMware Cloud is truly built for today's multi-cloud world.